Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, today was actually fairly mild with temperatures topping out in the 50s. However, we're looking at big changes over the next seven days. Temperatures will struggle to get out of the 20s. Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. No rain or snow out there right now. We've got clear skies. Live city cam picture. Good visibility here. Looking out off to the west. Temperature 34 at the moment with a wind from the west northwest at 16 miles an hour, bringing in the colder air from the north and west. Temperatures in the northwestern part of the state, upper 20s to around 30. Meanwhile, still in the mid to upper 30s at the south coast, an Arctic front has pushed Push through the region and knock down the temperatures from the 50s well down into the 30s. In fact, you can see the little stripe of clouds there. That's what's left of the front right now. It's going to continue to work its way away from us. These lake effect snow streamers will be staying away. Might just find a couple of clouds from them. But look at the temperatures across the uh, northeast right now. Most of these areas are in the 40s and 50s, now down into the uh, 20s and 30s across most of southeastern New England. That cold air will continue to work its way on into into southern New England throughout the overnight. Now tomorrow we'll start off with sunshine, but clouds will tend to thicken up as an area of low pressure gets organized off to our south and eventually works its way on off to our south and east throughout the uh, uh, nighttime tomorrow night. We'll see some snow showers developing tomorrow evening and then a steadier snow will develop after that. Let's take a look at it with our neighborhood future cast. And we're going to start you out at three o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. Notice we're still de dealing with sunny skies, but the clouds roll in. Here we are around 830 Monday evening with some snow showers developing across the area. And then for a while tomorrow night, we're going to be seeing a steady snow develop, perhaps even a heavier band or heavier bands across eastern Massachusetts for a while, especially into Tuesday morning. Here we are around 8 o'clock Tuesday morning. Our area looks like it'll be dry. Maybe a few leftover snow showers, some lingering steadier snow across the eastern Massachusetts. And then we're looking at drier weather, at least for us, for the rest of the day on Tuesday. How much? It's a really difficult forecast right now, but generally one to four inches across Rhode Island and uh, Bristol County Mass. The further east you go, that's where the jackpot's going to be. Plymouth County, Cape Cod, parts of Cape Cod could be looking at six to eight inches of snow as they'll be closer to the center of uh, low pressure, but generally one to four inches beginning tomorrow night into the morning on Tuesday. Overnight tonight looks quiet, but cold temperatures getting down to around 20 degrees by five AM starting out in the upper teens, only climbing into the 20s for the morning commute and in the afternoon. It's about all I can do for you. Upper 20s across the area, the east side around uh, 28, 29 degrees, Riverside across the Bay of Warwick around 29 with the winds from the west 5 to 10 miles an hour along the south coast, upper 20s to maybe around 30 degrees over there in Newport. And keep in mind the clouds will be thickening up, probably dry during the daylight hours tomorrow. 25 Boroughville, 29 Johnston, Cumberland, 28 degrees with a bit of wind. It might feel a little bit cold. Colder, but it's not going to be terribly windy tomorrow. 29 in Fall River, 29 to Bedford, 28 degrees over there in Taunton. Here's that live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast. And again, we are expecting to see some snow developing tomorrow evening. Snow showers, steadier snow early on Tuesday morning, dry throughout the rest of the day on Tuesday. But look at Wednesday and Thursdays, high temperatures only in the lower 20s. Morning lows will be in the single digits to around 10 degrees. Then we get another storm. That one could bring a mixture of snow and rain to parts of southeastern New England, maybe some sleet as well. We'll have to watch that one. Right now next weekend looks dry, but continued cold with uh, afternoon high temperatures only in the upper 20s. So for the Pinpoint Future Cast anytime, you can check out our mobile apps for the iPhone and Android. Go to iTunes or the Android Market and search for WPRI. So cold will be one word you hear a lot this week and a little bit of snow here and there. I am absolutely, I just got cold just seeing that seven days. It's been a long time since I've had a seven day with 20s every single day, probably at least four or five years. You know what I haven't gotten in a long time are those, um, those warmers you put in your oh, hands. Those are those nice. Gross. I haven't bought those in like probably a year because we haven't really needed them. You better get out and get them now before yeah. they disappear. I bet you're right. <laughs> All right, thank you very much.